Hey YouTube, Big G back again with another gameplay video and this time I thought I'd play a Spectrum game. I haven't played a bit of uh, on my Speccy for a while so I thought let me let me dust it off and I decided to play Slain. Now I, I received this recently from the UK um, seems to be complete it's got the uh, tape inside as well as the little manual for Slain. Now the reason I actually purchased this uh, on eBay was that um, Slain is, or basically was, one of my favorite characters from the 2000 AD comics. Um, I always was a big fan of, of that sort of barbarian type character. I always loved the, Con the Conan comics and um, I always read a lot of the Conan books. But Slain had a, to me, was just that one step up from old Conan. He had more character to him. He had the sidekick Uko that was there that he used to beat around. Um, the battles that he used to go into definitely were more violent and uh, he could warp into huge beasts and the enemies that he fought were these like fantastical monsters and so forth. So I always liked that character and that's why I actually went and purchased the Slain game on eBay and I just received it now recently. Uh, my cousin was came down to South Africa and he, he brought it with him. So it was great so I can actually get to play it. And if we look at the manual that comes with it for Slain, um, it's got the normal little intro over here with uh, explaining exactly what you can do. But uh, basically this is sort of like an action-adventure uh, game um, and it had some nice concepts in it. Uh, and one of the big concepts is that you actually don't directly control Slain as such, you control his thoughts. So you'll see on the screen when we do the gameplay, his thoughts flash on the screen, and uh, screen, and you know, it was actually quite an ambitious uh, control method that they've used in this, and uh, quite original, different way of doing things, which was great. And the graphics are good for this type of game, but it makes control very, very difficult and very frustrating as well. But anyway, you basically get these these thoughts of Slain comes on the screen, and then you highlight the thought and then you lead him on from there. So sort of like a Sims type control method. So let's say for instance I want him to move, I'd click on move. The thought would come into his head, move, then you'd see the directions come up and then I'd have to click on north and then he'd move north and so forth. I would have preferred a much simpler control method um, but you know they want you to be original, they want you to be different and in a way it sort of works but it does lead to frustrating gameplay. I've booted up the game um, using one of my emulators at the moment and uh, I've started off, you first got to define your keys so I'm just going to use the keyboard, I first tried it on my Spectrum 128 I thought using the joystick would be easier and it became now on impossible okay so here we are and you can see first thing there on the left hand side are Slain's thoughts so basically uh, I hit yes there so now I'll go into the next you stand, the typical adventure type style, you're standing on a dirt track it's often used judging by the well trod earth so now I need to move him. Uh, but you can see there I'm just sort of randomly pressing uh, on his different thoughts. Uh, and you can see Uka, my little sidekick over there. You revolting little sidekick. He just won't go away. So I need to click on, uh, on move so that I can move. And you can see there the thoughts are moving from left and right, left and right. And they move damn fast as well. So and that's what makes it so difficult. So basically I'm looking for the move. I'm waiting for the move thought. There we are. I've clicked on move and now I can see what direction I want to move in and I'm waiting for the right direction you can see southwest so now I've moved over to a little bridge and uh, now that I'm at the bridge let's see now and you know it's so it's so hit and miss this control method uh, I like the idea of it if I had a proper mouse uh, oh, there we are. Now I'm going to start uh, going into a battle sequence. And this even makes it more frustrating because, you know, I've got an uh, you know, I'm attacking the enemy and my warp goes up as I attack the enemy. But it's so difficult to hit the right thought. So there I want to hit swing. I miss swing. You know, so that makes it so frustrating. So there's five villages. I'm trying to hit, kick, dodge them, leap on them try to do anything with them but it is so difficult, there we are, I managed to swing, I killed one and I, I missed the throw and I want to kick yes I kicked and I killed another villager I want to do, no, couldn't get there so you know I just find it easier just to leave the hand sort of in the middle and move left and right and just add random sort of hit and kick and throw and miss 
and so forth. So there, taking out took two damage. Ah, damn it! I missed the kick. I missed the swing. Ah, I killed another one. No, I didn't. I took damage. Come on. This hand sort of looks like the hand from the Adams family. <laughs> hey, I killed all the villagers. Shame. I don't know what the villagers did to me or what I did to them. Um, but anyway, they did. So now I'm looking around. I'm still there where there's a little, little bridge. You know, maybe there's something underneath the bridge. But eventually, I think I just give up trying to look underneath the bridge. Come on. Uh, I look about. If you look about it tells you okay there's nothing around in the area so let's move now I've got to try find the move thought again ah, I got it this time move let's go north no south come on I searched this area didn't find anything Oh, another battle. The battles actually become tedious. Oh well, let's kill some more villagers. And there's four of them. Let's see if I can do any better. Ah, a swing. Kill one. Ah, there we are. Got one. I would have so preferred a system where I could actually. Because you know the character Slain is a great character. I mean he could really make a great game using this character. I mean he's a barbarian that warps. He can become fantastical creatures. He gets ex ex extremely powerful. And uh, oh, now you get frustrated with this. You know, just controlling this hand is now on impossible. Because it doesn't click from thought to thought, it sort of slides around slowly and it doesn't like stop on the thoughts. That would have been better if they'd actually had sort of, it could actually just stop on each thought. Come on, I know there's a village further up. Let's go north. And also, why do you have to say, okay, so these villages are moving up to this village. You know, if you're saying move, surely you should just be able to go north and then go north again. Why each time you go to a new location, do you have to then say move and then north? Obviously, Slain is not that stupid, or maybe he just is that stupid. Okay, so I'm moving around this village. Let's move again. Now I'm waiting for the right thought to come past. And there's three villages here, just to let you know in case you want to attack them, I suppose. So I'm looking about. Ah, there's a fountain. Flowing clear water. And you know, the graphics are actually quite good. And the sound's not that bad either for a Spectrum game. So you can see I'm trying to keep the hand in the middle. Let's try west. I can go into huts, so let's go into these huts to the north. There we are. Oh, I'm in somebody's hut and there comes a smithy. He's coming straight at me. Ah, and he attacks me. Oh, well, you're going to attack me, I'm going to kill you. Well, I suppose I'm in his, in his hut. And I kicked him. But I haven't killed him yet. I kick him again. And my warp's going up. Uh, I killed the smithy in his own house. So, let's look around. Ah, 
Oh no, not another battle. You know, I'm just trying to look around and do some pilfering inside this hut. And he's another villager. Punch. Is he dead yet? Come on. Where's the punch when I want the punch? Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Damn it. Yes, punch. Kick. Yay, I've killed him. Finally. Definitely the most frustrating game I've played in a long time. And I've played some frustrating games before, but this takes the cake. So look, let me just look around this room, see if there's, ah, there's a chest. Okay, I was going to end it here, but let me, ah, no, not more company. Just when I start finding things, now I've got to fight. Oh well, Uka runs away as usual. Yeah, I managed to kick him, and there's four villagers. I killed all four of them. My word, Uka comes back. Okay, let's see if I can get into this chest. Look into I uh, missed it. Come on, let's do some more actions. Open, yes, open, 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 open. Now, where's the chest? Surely he's thinking of the chest. Come on, where's the chest when you want to fold the chest? Not my axe. I'm always thinking of my axe. I suppose I'm a barbarian. Pick up. Ah, oh, jeez. Now I've got to fight again. I'm warp rating 9. Come on, let's see if I can kill him quick. I just want to see what's inside this chest. Okay, the villagers lie dead. Killed more villagers. Come on, where's my actions? Look into... Where's the chest? Damn, this hand is difficult to control. Yes. Yay! And what have I got? Some coins. Looks like coins and it looks like an idol or something like that. Okay, let's see. Zaman. Where's the chest? Okay, there's my inventory. I've got an axe and I've got my talk. I think that's how you say it. Take from. Yes, that must be it. Finally, this barbarian has a thought that I can use. Take from. I want to take from the chest. Take from. Oh, no. Now I've got to fight again. Ah, oh, come on. I better not die now. Not after all this effort. I've killed them. Hey, I've wiped. Surely this village must be wiped out now. Okay, let me try this again. I want to take from. No, no. Where's actions? Actions, actions, actions. Where's actions? Actions, actions. Yes. Take from. Ah, oh, missed it. Think about it again. Think, 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 think. There's take from, take from. This barbarian is thinking far too quickly. I can't believe, I wonder if anybody's actually finished this game. <laughs> it must be frustrating. Finish this game without, you must probably have to cheat. You'd, you'd have to. 
Because there's no way you could... Oh, well, maybe. Where's the chest? There, chest, chest. Yes. There's an idol. Click on it quick. Got it. Ah, picked up an idol. Coins, 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 coins. Come on. I missed it. Come on, I just want to get... So I've picked up an idol. I've picked up coins. Now all he's thinking about is, okay, 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 there's nothing else I can do here. Finally. And I've got company again. Well, I must say, this is definitely one of the most frustrating games I've ever played on this Spectrum. Which is a pity, because Slain is one of my favourite characters from the 2000 AD. So, graphics-wise, it's not bad. Um, I don't mind adventure games. I've played quite a few adventure games on the Spectrum. Some of them are frustrating. But this is by far the most frustrating game I have ever played on the Spectrum. Which is such a pity. I mean, they had, they had a good idea there. Uh, the control method could have worked, but in its form, uh, the way it is now, it definitely doesn't work. And it gets, you know, I would have to rate this Musobi a, a 3 out of 10, which is such a pity, because it's actually, it could have been a great game. I could have, I could have, I could have seen myself playing this and enjoying this, but unfortunately, this absolutely destroys it for me. So guys, unless you're a diehard slain fan, avoid this game at all costs.